In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what is going through my head in a live regs game of, Mine, of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos that can help you get better at this game. Now in this video, I'm actually going to be running my bunch tight end offensive guide. If you haven't got the bunch tight end offense, uh, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. We're actually running the New York Jets version of the of the offense and as you can see here we're gonna start off with an absolute laser um, to the nice little deep crosser um, now really quickly before I dive too far into this again if you haven't subscribed be sure to do that and then the other thing I want to make sure that I say is that if you have not got the bunch tight end offensive guide it is in the description of this video uh, right here a nice little dot off the top and I almost got a touchdown I threw it just a split second uh, too late but again the exact offense and defense that I run is gonna be linked in the description of this video um and, and again the but that that guide actually it also comes with bunch um so the bunch from the jets playbook it comes with that complete breakdown as well as um as well as um oh gosh what is it called um the bunch tied in and then the trips tied in offset so anyways as you can see the reason that i've shifted um the reason that i've actually decided to kind of maybe move back to the bunch tight end for at least this game and maybe for the foreseeable future is because i really 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 can't ignore and of course as i say that i throw a pick um and i, I am going to be a little rusty with the offense i haven't ran the bunch tight end in a long time and it used to be my favorite offense in the game but i just haven't ran it for a while so uh, i am going to be a little rusty and i'm actually shifting to a different style of defense and i guess it's just testing out and trying some new stuff but this is it's the same principles and I talk about this a lot um, so I'm running my 335 wide defense but you're gonna notice that I'm gonna run um, a specific version of it I'm gonna there, there's different versions of it for different situations so uh, anyways uh, real quick I'm gonna do the same trick that he did if you notice at the beginning with clocks dwindling down if you just pause it you see that I get a fresh 40 uh, or 14 seconds there uh, to be able to adjust but my opponent looks like he's gonna come out and run some trips tight end so this should be a fun uh, a fun little game here um, and let's see here right off the rip little trip side in little doubles in sale and that's exactly what I was trying to set up defense up for but I just messed up so anyways the point being that really what it comes down to is it always comes down to five things right you want to have a power play a counter play um, and then you want to have uh, a constraint three play a play that basically you know looks like all of those but it just goes in a little bit of a different direction uh, right there throws right to my guy and because my i got clicked off on my user i didn't get an interception but he's actually running a relatively high pace uh, offense right now so I've got to kind of lock in just a little bit uh, and just take away some of the easy stuff some of the layups that we've been giving up and right here as you see we're gonna do this and we're gonna actually man up and I messed up the coverage here but we'll just come down and Amos should have covered that he ended up not covering that for me and my opponent my opponent's got some good rhythm this should be a good match this is gonna be fun um, but what I'm doing is I'm actually going with my trip side end zone drop defense um, it's the defense that I like to call when I talk about defense, I say that there's really five things that you need for defense. The five things are basically what you want to do is you want to have uh, a match defense, a zone drop defense, a man-to-man -man defense, a run defense, and then you want to have the ability to blitz, uh, obviously. So you want to be able to send pressure out of that. So really good job by my opponent on this drive, honestly. Really, really good stuff from him. And honestly, I mean, he just walked, walked right up and down on my zone drop defense. So we're probably going to shift – out of that unfortunately but it is what it is so anyways offensively it's power counter constraint run play and then um red zone play that's what i like to do or talk or teach so five things on offense and five things on defense the five things on offense are power play counter play um constraint theory play a running play and then a uh, red zone play if you want to do two constraint theory plays if you don't feel like you need a red zone play then you could add in two constraint theory plays if you want to do that so the bunch tied in though the reason i like it so much is because the way the scheme works it, it is a little bit better than bunch 
in the fact that with bunch tight end, number one, the power play that it has is is a little bit more dominant. So the PA put over is a more dominant like Lombardi sweep type of play than than the other stuff, right? The other reason I like it is because the plays look I they they really do go hand in hand. They actually do work well together, which is a little bit different from bunch. Sometimes bunch you can be calling stuff and you're like, why am I calling this? What what does this benefit me? So um, that's why I've chosen to go back to to bunch tight end for uh, at least for this game, maybe for a few games in a row here uh, to just kind of talk through. And I'm going to show you, but you're going to see that the functions and the core concepts of the scheme are going to be very similar. Okay, it's very very similar. And it's borderline identical. But as you can see right there, I mean, if we wouldn't have missed that that read early, we would have we we, we should have scored on that first drive. I mean, the, the offense has been the offense has been fine. We just made a bad read uh, with our with our guy here. So, anywho, so we're just gonna come back. And again, it's just boot over until he can until he makes the adjustment that I know he needs to make to stop it. Uh, we're gonna run it. Waiting for my delay fade to go. It's actually good defense by him. And it looks like he is making that adjustment now. So I'm going to go to the tight end corner play. Um, this is my adjustment to his adjustment, basically. So it looks exactly the same. And I'm, at, and I'm actually running this in a little bit of a new way. But as you can see right here, I have this nice little check down to the running back. It's very good for what the way that he likes to play. Um, you know, so I can go to something like that. Right here, I'm just going to pick up the first down. Uh, nothing too complicated. Uh, and of course, as I say that, I almost don't pick it up. I think I was able to get that first. Yep, was able to get the first down. So it is interesting to kind of watch what he's doing. It looks like he's running, you know, essentially cover two to one side and cover four to another side is what it seems like to me. So, but anywho, we're going to just kind of run P, but over here, he's going to send some pressure. Does look like he ran commit. And that was a bad decision by me. I think I almost threw an interception. I threw that way too late. I had the delay fade standing wide open. That was just a bad read. And again, you're starting to see like, um, you are starting to see like a pretty significant amount of rust. You know, I've got a little bit of rust here uh, with this offense. So just kind of trying to get back into the swing of things here. That's more of what we're looking to do. Dot on the sideline. Unfortunately, we didn't get our feet down, but that that's the one thing about boot over that is a little bit of a drawback. And the reason why bunch tight end, I think, is the best offense, especially for regs, is because it has all the routes, but it also has like pretty darn good like pass protection and just like little things like that. So those are all things that you need to be cognitive of. Uh, right here, we're actually going to just go with a little streak here. And I think we'll be. And we just mossed him. We got lucky. We just mossed him. Um, we got lucky right there. I was trying to figure out. I guess he did run cover four. The the one little drawback to um, like uh, boot over is that I was just hoping we could just break that up. The one drawback is that sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell if they are in cover two or cover four drop. So if it's an outside quarter or if it's a cloud flat, sometimes it's a little hard to tell. Um, so like that, I thought it was a cloud flat, so I thought it would stop moving, end up keep moving, Neen, and I should have probably thrown an interception. But so offense is definitely a little rusty. Defense got dotted all up and down the field. Um, you know, so hopefully we're getting our legs underneath us a little bit, though, starting to kind of get back into the groove a little bit of this offense. Um, anytime you come back to an old offense or you run a new offense, there is going to be a startup cost. There's going to be some time where you're going to miss reads. You're going to do things wrong. And you have to be willing to accept that if you're going to learn anything. So anyway, uh, right here, a little inside zone. And that's the trip side in is such a fun offense because it's, um, it just it, it, it can do a lot of things really, really well. And inside zone is just one of those things that it can do. Let's see if he runs a traditional flood. And, and see, that's that's kind of the decision that I've made defensively is like that route right there. I'm not going to try to overtly stop it. Um, I'm just going to try to like, you know, be sound against it right there. Got him to throw that away. He actually had a pretty good route concept on there, but we were able to get him to throw it away, force a fourth down. 
Now, the one thing about Trips Tight End that I think is actually really, really interesting is that there is a very direct tell. Like, when you're defending Trips Tight End, it is very, very obvious to the opponent, like, what, you know, what you're doing. You know, like, if you're running man or if you're running zone, it's pretty obvious to the opponent. And right there, that was an interesting run. I, I should have shifted my line. I, I didn't, but I, sh I should have shifted my line there. It looks like he's going to go with it again. And, okay, this is his move. Not sure what this formation is. I've never, not, very, not very many people run this, so this is a, kind of giving me a little bit of a, a spook. So we'll see if he sticks with that or not. But defensively, we're just staying with our basic strategy. Um, you know, we haven't really, I mean, yes, he did. We just haven't gotten a good enough taste of his offense yet to be able to say, okay, we know we need to do this or this or this. We do have to watch out here in case he does run like a little bit of a post, probably skinny post. He does end up going with a little slant. So that's actually a good call by him. He's kind of working the ball up and down the field a little bit, honestly. And really not with like, he's not like running the same concept. He's really kind of mixing and matching, doing some random stuff. For the first half, you kind of have to figure out, okay, what are his things, right? Is he gonna run stretch? Is he gonna run, you know, what, what are the things he's gonna do? And it does look like he's in the New England playbook. Um, so right here, I'm gonna go to my split close defense. And we'll see how it works. We have to be ready for like power O. There. Oh gosh dang it. My inside quarters drift. My my I thought my inside quarter zones would be a little bit better than they were right there. They did not do what I needed them to do. Good defense right there by my slot. Um but yeah, so what I'm getting at as far as this is like it's all random to me. So when someone comes out and they're running random stuff, like CI is running spread white flex and he's running Utrea, you know, like he's just kind of doing all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's like all randomized to me. I don't, I can't really get a read on what he's doing. And right there, that should have been an interception. I really like to like in the red zone, I'll sit in man coverage um, most of the time with like shaded down me in coverage. I'll just sit in that um, until someone can like prove to me that they have some reads um, like right there, right to me, got to pick. See, that's huge. And that's really what you're trying to, the thing is like that was, he, he was able to clear, cleanly drive up and down the field on me twice, right? But the biggest reason as to why was primarily, I think because I never, he's just doing kind of some random stuff. Um, once you start to kind of figure out, okay, this is where, then you can start to kind of, you know, use her in the right area or put the right defense on the field. But that's why it's so important, I think, to have like a base that you go to, that you start with, a foundation that you can go to um, that, you know, you can kind of do something with. Right there, um, as much as Devontae Adams helped me out on the first, on that touchdown that I threw, he like totally shamed me on that other one. Um, okay, right here, like he's kind of showing an all-out pressure look, and so when someone likes to do this, it's very common that, especially from three, four odd, they're going to be running some type of cover four. So you can motion quickly, and here you see, I mean, definitely it was cover four. And as you can see right here, um, if they run cover four and you motion that streak over, it's way, way better for you. Um, you're going to have so much more success if they run cover four and you just throw. You have that motion over streak is is really a much better decision. So if someone is if someone is like having any tendency to run a lot of cover four, I'll go to this adjustment right here, and it just makes it a lot. It just makes it a lot smoother. It's, you're just motioning a fade out to the numbers. You see where his user is obviously here, um, but then now, and that was actually a really good user. Okay, I mean that was good. Good by him, but I mean, he's kind of in no man's land. He's starting to get himself in no man's land. So now we've noticed that my opponent has consistently, and I mean consistently been shifting to like cover four and all these things. So now I can come over here 
and and maybe run this little mesh concept and i don't know what he's doing with his user i don't know why he did like that's frustrating to me because the option route was supposed to cut to the outside because he was in a man coverage he didn't cut i got i got um and i got box so oh well i guess you can't you know you can't get lucky all game so good defense by him uh, I actually felt like I made the right decision. It's just the running back didn't cut to the outside, which maybe that's on me. I maybe threw it like too preconceived or too early. Um, you know, so that is what it is. But anywho, um, see, like, again, another random formation, another random formation. Now here uh, we're like bringing everything. I mean, we're literally blitzing the crib at this guy. Just trying to get in there quick, and that's okay. That's okay. You know, we're and we're just trying to force the issue a little bit. You know, and then here we're gonna come back, and we're gonna make it look exactly the same. But that's what we were trying. We're really trying to blow that up in the backfield. Now he's in a third down here. I'm gonna take a timeout, really, just because like if he if I can get him to stall, um, and we're gonna try really really hard actually to blow this run up in the backfield. If he runs stretch, we should be okay. He is going to pass. And, of course, Mike Evans burned me over the top. I should have shaded up. Gosh, oh, that's so frustrating. Dang it. That's on me. I should have shaded up. I missed one adjustment. I was so bent on trying to blow up that run and get me an extra possession. And I ended up giving him a free touchdown. He gets ball at half to, so I'm not in a great position by any means. So, yeah, I am not in a great position. Fourteen to seven. So I need to go down. I need to get three at least. Um, Gosh, man, I feel like the offense has been honestly fine. I feel like I'm just rusty. I feel like it just – the rust is showing, but the offense has been there. You know, it's been fine. It's been able to, to move. So, we just need to – we just need to score. He's taking a long time to kick. I might get lucky. It might go out of bounds here. Nope, it's going to go deep. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's some situational like play calls out a bunch tied in that you can go to. Like if you know they're in cover three, you can go to this. If you know they're in cover four, you can go to this. If you know they're in cover two, you have kind of all of those like quote unquote answers. So like you see here, he's kind of showing a cover two or no. I, well, I don't know if it's covered. I don't even know. We're not going to spend too much time trying to figure it out. We're just going to run our stuff. But, you know, he's kind of showing some different things here. So this is actually, I guess, just traditional man. And Devontae Adams is just not getting, not doing his thing. Might be a good time. Um, it might actually be a good time to go to tight end corner. And you can run tight end corner a million different ways. Uh, you truly can run it like so many different ways. But one way you can run it is actually this right here. Or use like a wheel route or a little swing route to the back to be the underneath pull route. And you see there we got a little dot. A field goal. Um, a field goal is not a bad move because I feel like the defense is going to be able to clamp down on him. Um, so a field goal is not like the worst thing. Okay, right here. This is an interesting little call. So I've got inside switch. I'm actually going to go back to it. Um, this is a little bit of a gamble, but we'll try it and see how it goes. And he literally dropped, I think, everybody into coverage. Good thing we got two timeouts. So we're just able just to kind of like, you know, make something happen. I mean, he's dropping so many people back. I'm trying to think here. If he runs, I'm trying to remember Cover 3 Cloud. 
trying to remember where the cover three is. The cover three is in the cover three cloud is the cover two side. Right here, this is a little bit of a risky call, but we're gonna try to see if he's like playing some type of cover two here on the right. That's an oldie, old trick, but a good trick um, that I like to use at a PA boot over. And basically it's like, if they, if they crash their line out, oftentimes the middle will be like wide open. So I was able to go to that right there. Um, inside switch, this is another way that you can run inside switch. Um, it actually makes it pretty interesting how it works, but essentially you're looking to hit this tight end route if you can. Or the corner route, as you can see that corner route gets wide open on the sideline. And that's going to put us in a decent position. First and 10 from the 16. Corner route is really what you want to throw from here. Like if a corner route is like the right decision. Either corner route or like a crosser. So let's see here. We're actually going to go to the mesh play. And we're going to streak the circle receiver. We're actually going to just put the running back on a streak. Um, and we're trying to just to go to the end zone or out of bounds is really the idea. And I throw a pick. Ah, man, he must have put his yellows on like 30 yards. Oh, that was a big interception. I should have, I should have waited. I bet if I waited probably just a split second longer, I would have been good. Dang it. Oh, man, I'm killing myself on offense. The rust is killing me. All right, so he's going gun tight. It looks like he's just going to have a little chalk up moment. So honestly, I feel like defense has been okay. Um, got the first drive, you know, that I mean, just I've really just made like a couple little mistakes to put myself in this position. I feel like I can definitely get out of this uh, with the W. I just have to, I just have to make sure, you know, I'm not making little mistakes. Um, I think that, you know, it's really, really important to hit on this real quickly. But essentially, if you're not careful, um, and this is why simplifying is so important, if you're trying to do too much on both sides of the ball, you're going to make little mistakes, little minor mistakes, little rusty, little, little knick-knack type things. And those cost you games. Um, it's not always the big stuff, right? Once the big rocks are into play, um, you know, you really can't, have a problem so like right here we just want to be simple we want to run our simple zone drop scheme and we want to see if it'll work or not right if it will work then we're going to stick with it right there take that away we're going to take that away now he doesn't have anyone to throw to and that should have been an interception right there to amos but you see we got our simple setup off and he didn't he wasn't able to work he wasn't able to do anything that he wanted to do um that's what i'm getting at that's what i'm that's what i'm getting at so Again, we're gonna and we're gonna stick with that a lot this second half here. This is kind of one of the themes of the second half. Now, if he motions somebody, it probably will. Yep. So we got a little got all of our adjustments off here. We're gonna take the crosser away. And as you see, just really clean defense. Um, there's really nothing open. Has to throw it away. You see what I'm talking about? When you do the little things right, that's why it's important to simplify. When you do the little things right, you can really, really um, play solid defense. You just have to do – defense is all about the little things, all right? It's really not about, you know, the big, big, big things. So anyway, right here, we got a little cover four. I don't know how this will work. This is an interesting style of defense that he's got. Um, I don't really like that motion right there. I feel really honestly weird about that there. Um, we're gonna watch that tight end right there, and I don't know why my guy didn't jump. It's because he's a linebacker. I mean, he literally threw it right at us. Right here, we're gonna go get him. Uh, we're gonna try to put some pressure on him there. He hasn't done well with pressure, um, and somehow Leonard Fournette. That's just frustrating. 
Call I felt like that was the right call. Alright, we got our setup in here. And looks like I mean looks like this is move. He's gonna run middle, low, high. Or whatever this play is called. Little corner route there. It's actually a good call. Now based off the way that he's um based off the way that he's calling plays. One of the things you have to understand is like where can you get killed? Where can you get burned? What are they doing? Those are all really important things um, to ask. So he's going to go down to the run here. This is why, again, this is kind of what I was talking about. A field goal would have been huge. Um, little, little outside zone run. Let's see what he does here. And I don't know how that's on an interception. It's pretty good coverage. Pretty good coverage. You know, he's running quick slants and praying um, that we don't have anything, you know, that we don't have a good setup, but we did. A little more coverage there. We get the interception. That's huge. So, um, so right there, it was third and eight. Right, so he went down to his running set, but it was pretty obvious that it was likely to be a pass. And so we went ahead and went with um, purple zones on the outside instead of spies. And it was just a man coverage thing. It was that Jair Alexander had better man coverage, just had a better matchup, and we were able to, you know, able to get out of there with a, a pretty good play by him. Nice dot right there on the crosser. And if you noticed on that last play, he actually moved. And he might have already done this before, but I just noticed on the last play that he had a guy, um, what's his name there, Barrett, uh, his best pass rusher, he had him um, at linebackers. You can see on the right side there, so I'm going to move my best pass blocker over there. And nice little easy dot on the mesh play. That's going to put us in first and ten inside the 20 um now right here this is this is where you want to go to um you want to go to your crosser now the trick with this is because of where we're at on the field we are in a tricky position here um you can't really it's just kind of a tricky spot but we're going to use the motion over um and hopefully this will work out for us so we're going to motion over now, if he runs along the back line, we want him to run. He's not running, he's not running, he's not running. And we needed that, and we got so unlucky. So what I wanted to have happen right there is I wanted the guy to run on the on the sideline. Now, the route that we actually should go to to get this is actually the tight end corner. Um, so we're going to go to that right here. If you watch circle, he should run around the corner, and he doesn't. We got the tight end open, so we'll take that. And we're just kind of having, we're running into some issues of like, you know, where we're actually spaced out on the field is actually causing us some problems. Right here, this is probably my favorite way to run a red zone play, this tight end corner. Um, you have some really good options. Um, I need to step up. I need to step up. I got super unfortunate, or super fortunate actually right there. That's going to bring up a fourth and one, and I feel like you are fourth and two. I feel like you have to go for this. Um he actually played good defense there. Now, if we would run the ball, we probably would have got it. We probably could have went inside zone on that last play. Now we're in a position where, you know, you really can't do that. Uh, but what we can do um, is, like, because of the situation that we're in, is we can have this little concept right here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to put circle on a slant, and we're actually going to put um, this square receiver on a little flat, and we can't get him to motion over. We'll have to take a timeout. That's really unfortunate. That's actually really, really the worst case scenario that we could have been in. Okay, so if I come down in here, I'm going to go back to PA boot over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tight end on a delay drag. I've got the crossing route. So hopefully what will happen is if that crossing route can get to the backside and like actually run like it's supposed to, that'll be great. And then I'm gonna use like a slant flat concept right here, just a little slant flat combo. 
um, to kind of pull zones right there. And there we go. We got a big touchdown. And that's huge for us. That's a big score that was needed. Um, that was like a clutch moment. We're able to get in, get seven on a nice little simple concept. And now what we've got to do is we've got to get a stop. Um, more than likely, he's going to come out and, and probably just run his, you know, I think if, if I was in his shoes, this is, he's probably got to be thinking, if he's trying to win this game, he's probably thinking to himself that this is going to be the last drive of the game. You know, what we're about to go into is probably going to be the last drive of the game. So I just have to be super smart uh, and strategic here on how I'm going to do, um, on how I'm going to uh, play defense. So, so anyway, uh, we're just going to kick it off here. And 14 to 14 ball game here. So defensively, honestly, when we've done the little things right, we've had success. So we're going to try to stick with that little simple defense that closes off a lot of what people want to do from trips tied in. You know, we're going to take it into the consideration the height of cultivation will always run to simplicity. That's our goal here. Um, and basically going to see what we can do. Deuce close off the rip. Probably going to be a one trap. Yep, could have told you that. That might have been, I don't know if that was a one trap or if that was a counter run, but a little run there for the Pats. Um, going to go with some Mabel. Oh, he's going to go back to the run here. And you got to live with that. You know, no huddle, flip the counter. Like, we could have blown that up, but that's okay. So that's going to bring up a third and four situation. It's very, very unlikely that in this situation he's going to run the ball. I just can't see it. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go to a Mabel coverage. Just like that right there, we've got Mabel coverage. We've got cover two on the short side, cover four quarters on the wide side. And we just need to go up and get a tackle. We just make a tackle. Now that's going to force a fourth down in one situation. Very likely that you're going to see that he's going to go ahead and go for this. I could wholly, wholeheartedly see him either throw it or he's going to go with a little play action. We're going to try to get some pressure. And Jair Alexander makes another huge play for us with a pick. And that's huge. That's absolutely huge. Breaks a tackle. The little stop and go. Oh, he's going to go ahead and get in there for a touchdown. And that guy's going to quit out. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the exact offense and defense that I ran in this video, they will be in the description.